morning. If you go back nine months, it seems like five years ago, but if you go back nine months, we were in uh, LA, or we were in uh, Vegas, I can't even remember where I am anymore, we were in Vegas at SEMA, and we unveiled the 2014 Shaker, the old car, the previous generation, the Shaker Hood Auto. Huge success. Everybody went crazy for it. The car sold out at wholesale three or four days. Amazing. A couple of months later, we go to the New York Auto Show and we unveil this car, the new 15 model. Everybody goes crazy again. Love the car, love everything we did with the car. A couple days later, quiets down a little bit and everybody says, where's SRT? Okay, May 6th, we do our presentation for the five-year plan. We tell everybody what the plan is gonna be for Dodge for the next five years and how we're gonna consolidate the positioning of the brand and how we're gonna be the mainstream brand, mainstream performance brand in our showroom. And how we're also gonna bring SRT in together with Dodge and the two together are gonna to be stronger than either of them ever could have been on their own. And we're gonna have a full product lineup of performance cars from mainstream performance all the way up to the ultimate SRT performance vehicles. Everything's going good along that timeline. And then right after that, we show you guys the Hellcat. And literally, all hell breaks loose over this car. And everybody's going crazy. And that's, that's awesome. I mean, that feels good. Rick started out with the 700 Reasons. That's exciting stuff to talk about. And we are excited about this car. But it's time now to take a step back with you guys and experience this full lineup of cars. As amazing as this car is, and you guys are gonna have a blast today driving it, we need to look at the full lineup of cars because we think that everything that the team has done to these cars has the ability to not only increase our sales, but expand the segment. Because of the success of Challenger has really been building for five years. The car has increased its sales every single year since it's been in production. Last year was our all-time record sales. This year, the first six months of the year, we're about flat at retail with where we were last year, our all-time record. Think about that for a second. The last year of the car, we've already shown the new car. We're about to release the new car into the showrooms. You're gonna drive it, and the old car is on pace with our all-time record. It's amazing how well the car is doing, how successful it's been. During that same time period that we're having that sell success, the segment grew 10%. We doubled our sales, the segment grew 10%. Significantly outpacing the segment. If you talk to the industry analysts, IHS believes that segment is going to grow 40% in the next five years. Grew 10%, last five, going to grow 40% in the next five. If you ask them why, I'm sure they have a lot of complicated models that they'd love to share with you on why that's going to happen. I have a much simpler theory. My theory is that you've got 290 different vehicles to choose from in the marketplace sold by 40 different brands. It's getting very confusing. People are getting kind of numb to all the choices that are out there. People are now looking for something that's gonna be fun, unique, different, something like this. But it still has to be practical. It still has to give them the things that they need. That's where the base car comes in that we wanna talk about today. Amazing car, 700 horsepower. But if you look at everything that's in the base car, we think we can expand that segment. Because if you look at the lineup from this car right here, SXT, 305 horsepower, Pentastar, eight speed automatic transmission. We haven't told you guys this yet. 27,995. It's 30 miles per gallon. Sure, you can buy a mid-sized car, or you can buy something like that and have an absolute blast. Think about the competition that's out there. Who's gonna be trading in a car? The average car on the market today is 11 years old. Average pony car on the market today is 13 years old. Think back 13 years, you guys know these cars, you can picture in your head right now. 2002 Mustang. Forget about the V6. V8, 4.6 liter V8, produced 260 horsepower and got 23 miles per gallon. 305 horsepower, eight-speed transmission. Gonna drop your 0 60 time by a half a second, gonna feel like a V8, and it's gonna get 30 miles per gallon. That's the guy who's coming in to look at this car today. 2002 Camaro, forget about the V6, V8 car. It's 
small block Chevy, 5.7 liter, 305 horsepower, same horsepower as this car, 26 miles per gallon. It's great at the time, 30, bigger car, more modern car, fun car, absolutely amazing package. Guy wants to step up to the next level, RT, 5.7 liter Hemi. Previously, 5.7, 375 horsepower, 410 pound feet, took a little bit below the competition. They were out there with 420 and 426, right? You guys know it, you wrote the stories. Now you back it up with an 8-speed transmission. We're going to drop to 0 to 60 by another half a second and get 25 miles per gallon. There's no compromise in this package. You need a little bit more? That car. The absolute, I believe, going to be the sweet spot for the bang for the buck performance. This car, we haven't told anybody yet, 38 or 37, 495. 37, 495. 485 horsepower, 475 pound-feet of torque, back it up with an 8-speed transmission. This car is going to do low 4 seconds, 0 to 60. I'll bet you some of you guys break into the freeze with this car. And then late availability, we're going to put a shaker on it. I told you in New York we were going to be in the sweet spot of the market. That is absolutely the sweet spot of the market. Not enough? Okay, go up to the Hellcat. You guys have read all about it, you know all about it, it's exciting. But how many people are going to need 700 horsepower? Not that many. I don't know what the number is. Is it going to be a 5% run or a 10% run? I don't know. We'll see where the market bears. It'll, it'll spike at first, it'll level off. But the other 90% have the ability to get into this full product range of cars with absolutely no compromise. But if they get into that Hellcat, I've been very honest with people saying, this car is not for everybody. But when I said it's not for everybody, that's a personal choice. That's not because there's any compromises in it. These guys are going to tell you about this car today. There is no compromise with this car. If you decide you want one, there's no downside. You say, oh, 700 horsepower. Oh my God, it must have a suspension. It's like a track car. Yeah, it does. Set it on race mode. It's absolutely like a track car. It can run with anything out there. Put it down to street. And it's going to drive like this, as absolutely compliant as a regular Challenger, better than your average pony car because of the size and wheelbase. Yeah, but it's 700 horsepower, so probably has a transmission that's you know really beefy. It's got to shift like a race car. Yep. Put it in race mode. This is the funnest automatic you're ever going to drive. I mean, it'll bank shifts in 250 milliseconds, just like a race car. Rev matching downshifting that's absolutely intoxicating to drive. Or put it in street mode and shift like a regular passenger car. Amazing flexibility. Yeah, but it's probably gonna be loud and obnoxious. It is. It sounds <laughs> absolutely purely evil. <laughs> but that's when you want it to, because it's electronically controlled. If you're not in it, it's fully muffled. Otherwise, it's five and a half inches of straight through exhaust, and it's, it's amazing. You guys are gonna love it. Okay, that sounds good. I can do all that. But it's probably horrible on fuel economy, right? Yeah, it is. It's terrible. I mean, it makes 700 horsepower. I mean, you need fuel to make horsepower, right? Picture a gas can. It burns one and a half gallons of fuel per minute. Get your head wrapped around that for a second. At the same time, you can drive it normally and get 20 miles per gallon. That's what we're shooting for. Don't freak out, guys. That's not confirmed yet, but that's the goal. We're hoping to get to 20. We believe we will. Think about that. That is the reincarnation of the 60s street and strip car. You can take this thing out and run 1120s on street tires, 1080s on drag radials, and drive it home with the air conditioning on get 20 miles per gallon. What else can do that? Oh, okay. So you did all that, but it's got to be 100 grand, right? Nope. With gas guzzler tax, with gas guzzler, 59,995. There is nothing else out there they can touch that position. It is absolutely an exciting time to be looking for a car. You can come into the market today and you can get 85%. Don't write that down, I made that number up. You can get 85% of the practicality of a mid-size sedan in something unique, fun, and exciting to drive. You can buy a mid-size sedan that gets 34 miles per gallon and you can lose it in the mall parking lot. Or, for $27,000, you can buy something like this that gets 30 miles per gallon. IHS says this segment's going to grow 
I believe it's going to grow 40% because a lot of people say, I'm okay with 85% of the practicality. I want something unique. I want something fun. I want something cool. I said the other day, if you miss the first muscle car error, don't miss this one, regardless of which performance level you choose. Thank you.